How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now, I pretty much currently just woke up, sat in front of my computer and I saw that Nvidia has just announced their new RTX 2060 graphics cards at CES 2019. Now again, unfortunately, I'm not there as you guys can see, but I'm gonna let you guys know of all of the new tech being released there, but Firstly, let's get into the most important part, the new RTX 2060 graphics cards from NVIDIA. Now, unfortunately, previously we did see that they announced or rumored that there's going to be a GTX 1160 as well. Unfortunately, we don't have that yet. It's only the RTX 2060. So let's get into the new card. So starting off with the specs for the new RTX 2060s, it will feature the TU-106-300 core, which is slightly undertuned compared to the 2070s TU-106 core. But however, it will feature 1920 CUDA cores, 240 Tensor cores, 30 RT cores, 120 TMUs, and then 48 ROPs. It will also have a base clock of 1,365 megahertz and a boost clock of 1,680 megahertz. Now, as for a memory, previously we got rumors that a Gigabyte was going to produce over 40 different variants of the 2060 because there's going to be a 3 gig, a 4 gig, and a 6 gig variant that is also going to come out in a GDDR5 and a GDDR6 memory. That, however, is not the case. The video revealed as of yet that it's only gonna come out in a GDDR6 a 6 gig variant. So again, it will feature 6 gigs of a GDDR6 memory with a 192 bit bus interface and run as a 14 gigabits per second. That will deliver 336 gigabytes per second of bandwidth for the card, which is higher than the current GTX 1080 at only 10 gigabits per second on its current GDDR5X dies. Now, because this is still an RTX card, it will feature ray tracing cores. Now, the current new RTX 2060 will feature six less RT cores than the 2070, which will run around a five giga rays per second. So we will have to see how that actually performs in games because previously we saw that it didn't perform the best, but after some updates in Battlefield 5, it did improve. But again, we'll come into the benchmarks a bit later in the video. Now, as for the design of the Founders Edition RTX 2060, of course, it's going to look pretty much exactly as the previous Founder Edition RTX cards. So you'll still have the same dual fan design instead of the blower style. That will also come out with three display ports, one HDMI port and a single USB type C port that will also need a single eight pin for power. Now getting into the most important part, how the cards will actually perform. Now, unfortunately, NVIDIA didn't really showcase any benchmarks in their keynote, but luckily a few days back, we did get a post from Video Cards Z where they showcase images and specs of the rumored RTX 2060, which does now to appear correct. Along with that, they also showcase a gaming benchmarks of the RTX 2060 against some of the current GTX cards like the GTX 1060, 1070 Ti, and also GTX 1080. So from the benchmarks, we can see that the new RTX 2060 beats out or matches the GTX 1070 Ti in 15 different AAA titles and comes really close to the GTX 1080 but only beating it out in three of those games. They also showed that in a Battlefield 5 with a ray tracing off, they got around a 90 FPS. With ray tracing on a plus a DLS off, they got around a 65 FPS. And then with ray tracing on and then a DLSS on as well, they got around 88 FPS, which actually looks pretty good to be the case. 
So from off the benchmarks that we got from Video Cores Z, the cord does actually seem to perform quite well, which is around 60% better than the previous GTX 1060. So this might be a really good new card for the budget range. But now, as for the price, this new RTX 2060 will come out in a price tag of $349, which is around $50 more than the previous 1060 cards at launch. Now, they didn't state if the prices will be lower for the third-party board manufacturers, which usually does seem to be the case. The Founders Edition cards are usually more expensive. So we will have to wait and see. Hopefully, we can get it around $300. That will be quite a good deal, uh, especially for the performance that we actually get for these new cards. Pretty much almost on par with a GTX 1080. Now, of course, as for release date for the new RTX 2060, release date for the card will be around the 15th of January. So, luckily, not too long to wait. Currently, you can go pre-order on NVIDIA's website. It's only two Macs per client. So, if you want to get two, you can. They're not slightly compatible, like the RTX 2070, but you can pick up two if you wanted to. If you wanted to. That's a lot of twos. But now, not only did they showcase their new RTX 2060 graphics cards, they also unveiled that we are going to get ray tracing RTX laptops. So we're going to get around 40 different variants of laptops with these RTX cards, either in 2060, 2070 or 2080 graphics cards. And we'll get also 17 different Max-Q editions, which is again the much thinner ones. Of course, even though it's still the same GPU as the desktop equivalents, they will be somewhat underclocked in core wise and memory speeds to keep the power lower and then also temperatures in a check because it's yeah it's quite a bit thinner so release date for the laptops will be around the 29th of january so not a too long wait before we can actually see some of these new uh, rtx powered laptops so that is pretty much it for our first news coverage of CES 2019 with the all new budget range of RTX 2060 graphics cards. Now unfortunately we don't have any information yet of a current GTX 2050 or lower than that. Also no news again of the GTX 1160 that we saw in some of the mobile laptops from I believe Lenovo. So we'll have to wait for some more information on that. Hopefully you can get something like that, which is going to be cheaper than the RTX 2060, but still deliver really good performance. For that, we'll just have to wait and see. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to catch up on all the latest tech news, both now at CES and then also just in general, remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment, uh, and then I will let you guys know what is going on in the tech world. So thanks for watching guys and I will check all of you next time. Cheers guys.